Hello and welcome to Vision This Week on Channels Television. I'm Bukola Joe Oketumbi. Did you know that airline profits are not usually more than 5%? That's coming from an airline operator in the country. And that you need deep pockets, a viable business plan, and an enabling regulatory and economic environment to run a profitable airline business. Well, that's a fact. Many Nigerian airlines today are disadvantaged as they cannot access foreign exchange to do business. The instant and fuel scarcity and what they describe as a harsh operating environment is taking a toll on their business. With the economic downturn in the country, the airline operators of Nigeria recently had reason to ask the federal government for support for an ailing aviation industry. On the program, we take a look at this subject and what exactly must change for the local airlines and as well as the industry in general. Aviation is an economic engine that can generate long-term prosperity for local and national economies. In 2014, the industry generated more than 58 million jobs and $2.4 trillion annual economic activity globally. Here in Nigeria, aviation's contribution to GDP is a paltry 0.4% with over 50 foreign on-ground and off-ground airlines doing business in the country. A number that is fast thinning out in the face of the prevailing economic crunch. As a date, we have about 764 travel agencies on the BSP platform. At 2015, the total travel agencies in Nigeria sold $1.4 billion. We had 50 airlines on the platform. As of today, it has reduced to 36. For the public, all, all they know is that United Airlines has left and Iberia has left. Nobody cares to know the number of other airlines that we couldn't sell on that platform. On the domestic scene, Eight carriers currently ply their trade amidst what they describe as a harsh operating environment characterized by multiple taxes, inadequate operating capital, inconsistent government policies, the constraints of accessing foreign exchange to buy spares, meat repairs and maintenance costs, and excessive bank loan interest of 26%, including training of pilots and other technical personnel abroad on a regular basis. The cost of maintenance checks, according to airline operators, has hit the roof and the need to have a maintenance repair organization in the country is now a dire need. Having an MRO by itself as a standalone, as a business opportunity, as an entity that is designed from, 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 from the ground to make money, it's something that we need to consider. I think business entrepreneurs who are here should start looking at MROs. Because you cannot have airplanes that do not require maintenance. In 2013, Nigerian Airlines spent over $1.22 billion when the exchange rate was at 200 naira to $1 on overseas checks owing to lack of any major maintenance facility. At the moment, a number of Nigerian airlines have quite a number of aircraft stranded in MROs abroad with no hope of bringing the equipment back. The process of taking aircraft overseas for repairs, according to aircraft engineers, takes a minimum of two weeks with a corresponding loss of about $500,000. That's about 160 million naira for seat checks on Boeing 737, while Embraer 190 or Fokker 100 would cost $300,000. That's about 110 million naira during the same period. Owing to these difficulties, Investors in Nigeria's domestic airline business recently stated that they are seeking a direct federal government financial bailout to salvage the industry from imminent collapse. If 
you look at the economy of Nigeria, the chairman of the airline operators of Nigeria, AON, Captain Nogi Megason, said the industry had sunk into its worst form of financial woes and that only the government could rally around the rest of the stakeholders in the aviation sector to provide the lifeline to keep the airline industry alive. The AON also said in the last 30 years, the domestic airline industry has never received any form of financial assistance from the federal government, pointing out that contrary to widely held opinion, no airline benefited from the Aviation Intervention Fund of 2011. The race to save the aviation industry from collapse is on and most analysts believe the starting point must be policies that are very clear. Policies that will not only drive job creation, but one that can also harness the sector's economic potential. According to our guest, who is an airline operator, the federal government's support must come with a financial lending window that can help airlines borrow and pay back at a minimal rate. But first, it gives an overview of the industry. You are uh, witnesses to what is happening now. The industry um, is struggling. That's the truth. We are operating under a very harsh you know, environment. Like I told you some time ago, if you bring the foreign airlines into the country to operate and remain here, they will not last 72 hours before they close shops. Already the little foreign exchange issue, a lot of them are now pulling out of the country. That has gone to you know, vindicate what I said even last year. Airlines are supported all over the world, even with funds. All over the world, airlines are made to access you know, low interest rate loans. Nigeria is the other way around. All my loans are borrowed and they are going up 22.5 percent interest rate. So if I had borrowed one billion, at the end of the year, I'm expected to cough out 225 million as interest alone, plus the one billion. You have to pay taxes. You have to pay your workers their salaries. You have to buy foreign exchange at a very high rate. You have to take care of sundry issues. You can get funding outside this country at a very, very you know, low interest rate of 3%, 2%, 4%. I've been discussing recently with a lending bank in Africa. They were ready to give me money to buy certain aircraft. Last minute, they pulled out. They put a, you know, the post on it. Why? They don't know how I will be remitting my payments because of the dollar situation in the country. They have to articulate their policies first before bringing them out. A situation where you bring one uh, a monetary policy by morning time, 9 a.m., by 12 noon, you call your bank, account officer in the bank, and they say, oh, uh, we've got a circular from Central Bank. Uh, it's this one now. You want to do that one by 5 p.m., another one comes up. That does not give confidence to anybody. So that is why I said the central bank should get its acts together and uh, make these things uh, uh, work perfectly well. Airline business is not just like any other business. It must be supported. The airlines and the banks drive the economy of any country. The aviation, aviation industry is very, very key in opening up any country and making business flow. So over here in Nigeria, with all our shortcomings, Nigeria does not produce not even a single pin on the aircraft. Not even the rug, the carpet you put on the aircraft, you can, you can buy that from the Nigeria market. So everything about aviation, everything about airline is imported, is dollarized. 